What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What is poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panna, and today I'm doing a braided top knot ninja bun on my beautiful client Denim. I actually don't have a lot of kid clients, so when I get the opportunity to record them, I always try and do so for you guys. So since we are doing a bun on her, I did part her hair from ear to ear, and I'm gonna part out a half circle where I put knotless box braids. These are gonna add fullness to her bun, and it's also going to be easier just to get my braids to go into the ponytail. So highly, highly recommend that. Um, and basically all of these braids are just going to be going up into the bun. There's no super cool design to this look, um, but we are going to be doing two braids going forward for like a bang. I love doing like a type of bang or like a braid hanging in the front on kids. It's always super, super cute. But you guys can see me here. I'm using my comb to do my comb stitches. I really don't like to stitch with my fingernail because... I don't wear fake nails or anything like that and my nails are really brittle and I just, I don't know, I don't like to do that. I like to do comb stitches, but with kids guys, you know, comb stitches do take a little bit longer and denim is so funny because her appointments are usually four o'clock and after she'll come like after school and the first thing this girl say when she's sitting in the chair, she'd be letting me know, she said, I'm tired. How long is this gonna take? So I always try to like, I know I can get a good hour and a half, two hours out of denim without any type of complaints. So in that first two and a half hours, I always like to start in the front of her hair and get it to be as neat as possible. Not that the back is not important, but she does tend to get, you know, like super antsy. Um, and everything but in general she holds a really really good head i know people don't like to do kids for this reason it does take a lot of patience but what i try to do is like keep them entertained with an ipad or sometimes y'all be bribing them with suckers oh if you if you sit still for these next three braids i'll give you a sucker and they'll cooperate you sometimes you know you just got to work with them but i love her her mom always picks out super cute and unique hairstyles so i'm going to try to record denim um, a little bit more for you guys so the hair that I'm using for this look is the 42 inch expressions braiding hair. They do have a kid's braiding hair that's super short. Um, and I don't typically use that on her because her mom likes for her styles to be a little bit longer. And because I was wrapping this one in a bun, I just wanted to have a little bit of length to play around with so I can get a really, really cute top knot. Um, but typically on kids, I would use the kids expressions um, braiding hair. I also use that on adults when I make a custom ombre and I'll um, do a video on that pretty, pretty soon. But yeah, this look took me two packs of Expressions braiding hair. It doesn't really take a lot because you guys will notice that for most of the braid, I am um, using my client's natural hair. Her hair is pretty thick and pretty full. I'm really only adding the braiding hair in for length on this look. So yeah, it's not going to take too much hair. So I have talked a lot before about not adding in synthetic hair when I'm stitch braiding to give it more of a natural look. But specifically with kids, I am very cautious about where I'm adding in um, fake hair in their braids just because it does add a little bit more tension, which I know people love because they want their style to last longer. But when you're working on kids, you want to be very cautious of their hairline. It's very, very fragile. So I try to make sure that I keep a lot of denim styles low tension so that her hair is still really growing. Um, and I don't know, for kids, I just feel like I, I like to use the fake hair for length. Um, it'll help her braids to lay nice and flat. And I really have not had an issue with her hairstyles not lasting, at least her mom hasn't told me. But yeah, at at this point, y'all can see Denim moving. She's like, I'm tired, I'm ready to go. I think this style took a total of maybe two and a half hours. Um, and every kid is different. Like some kids, I know that they can't sit. I will tell their mom straight up, like she's not gonna be able to sit for lemonade braids. She's not gonna be able to sit for this and that because I wanna also make sure that I'm not being rushed and I'm able to have my styles be as neat as possible. Um, so I like to be transparent with their parents and let them know like she'll sit for this style or this style, but she's not gonna be able to get through large knotless box braids. Denim is amazing. She's hilarious, but this girl don't mind telling you like I'm ready to go. How many more braids? I'm tired. I need to sleep. She be killing me because I, I'm not gonna lie, I be bribing, bribing her with suckers. And she'd be like, oh yeah, can I get one for me and one for my mom? I'm like, girl, you know you want two suckers. So I absolutely love her. Not only that, but she's super cute, super adorable. And like I said, her hairstyles are always cute and creative. Um, So yeah, 
these two front braids. I'm actually gonna be putting some beads on to decorate them a little bit. And then we're gonna give her a top knot bun. A lot of people ask me how I put my beads on, which I never really thought that people didn't know how to put beads on, but I do use beaders that you guys can get at the beauty supply. I know there's like other ways you can do it with string and stuff like that, but I just find that the beaders are the easiest way. So here I'm gonna be showing you guys how I create the top knot bun. You're gonna start by twisting the hair um, and as you twist it, it will actually start to kind of curve and turn around itself. And um, sometimes this takes a couple times to do, so you're just gonna keep twisting, twisting, twisting. And then once you see it start to turn and get the shape that you want, you kind of just keep wrapping the braiding hair around the base of the ponytail. And to just kind of spice it up a little bit and make it a little more kiddish, I'm gonna be putting um, some gold, is it called tassel? I don't know why I'm trying to be fancy. I'm gonna be putting some gold string around the base of the ponytail. And to lock this bun into place, I'm gonna be using rubber bands. I didn't wanna sew it in place because I wasn't sure if her mom actually wanted to take it down and have her wear it in a ponytail as well. Um, but I did just put a couple rubber bands at the base of the ponytail to kind of secure it. And then it's also gonna have the gold string wrapped around it. So this is what it looks like without the gold string. I'm gonna go ahead and do her edges. I am using the Dove Collection Edge Control, but I'm using a very small amount because it does like lock into place and I don't want her to obviously to have too much product in her hair um, or on her hairline. So I'm not doing anything crazy, just going ahead and swooping those baby hairs into um, the ponytail. So for the base of her ponytail, I am taking string and I'm gonna start off by tying it in a knot around um, the ponytail. And I'm just gonna start wrapping it around until it makes pretty much like a wrap around the base of the ponytail. This string you can purchase at your beauty supply, your local beauty supply, they typically have it in at least black and silver. Um, but I will try and find an Amazon link for you guys as well. So I'm just gonna keep wrapping it and make sure I'm overlapping it. Um, and I'm basically gonna wrap the string and tuck it in until there's no more left of it and boom it just adds like a little cuteness to the ponytail and makes it a little more kiddish for denim so yeah I actually actually love the way that this style turned out this is probably one of my favorite that I have done on her thus far um and yeah she looks so cute and I'm like now you happy girl that your hair is done so yes let me know if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more kids styles just let me know in the comment section down below guys I really try to um listen to what you guys want to see and make content around that so please if there's anything that you guys want to see let me know either on my community tab or in the comment section down below so yes denim it was a sleigh. You look so beautiful. And as always, guys, I will catch you guys in my next video. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What you mean?